What we're hearing from our local health districts, especially in Southwest Virginia, is that people are spreading the virus in a variety of settings. Churches, small social gatherings, socializing after work or after school. Health directors tell us that schools and workplaces are largely doing well to follow the requirements, but that the virus is spreading when people gather with friends or coworkers after work or school. They're also seeing the virus spread in family gatherings. In fact, in the Mount Rogers Health District, for example, entire families are already in quarantine after a Thanksgiving exposure. What all of these settings have in common is that people are getting together, often indoors, in places where they feel safe and they let their guard down. Virginia, you know the truth. If you don't wear a mask and you don't social distance and you think your right to ignore public health advice trumps your neighbor's right to not get infected by you, these cases will just continue going up. It's just selfish. Rights are important, but we also need to emphasize responsibility. And in some parts of the state, if you get this virus and need to go to the hospital, there is not a bed for you near your home. Ballot Health in Southwest Virginia and East Tennessee is sounding the alarm bells and just today announced that they will stop all elective surgeries in their hospitals. Our hospitals across the Commonwealth have surge plans in place and have a system to monitor their bed capacity. Right now, that capacity exists, but let's not put that to the test. We have the right measures in place. Social gatherings are limited to no more than 25 people, and restaurants have stopped serving alcohol after 10 p.m. We are strengthening enforcement of existing regulations at essential businesses. We just put these measures in place two weeks ago, and it takes two to three weeks of data to see what's working and what isn't. We also are watching for signs of a post-Thanksgiving surge. I continue to co closely monitor the numbers and will evaluate whether further mitigation steps are necessary.